Hello, Slash, and thank you for being here. I'm Mark, and I'm one of the co-founders of Chrono. So if you're wondering how companies are feeling about outbound sales today, it looks something like this. Thousands of companies are actually struggling to get results and grow. And this is because outbound sales is changing fast, and companies are having difficulties keeping up. Today, only 12% of sales leaders are satisfied with the current sales stack, which is understandable when you consider that 72% of sales time is wasted on non-revenue generating activities. They juggle between 8 to 12 different tools that are not integrated and difficult to use. And despite all this time and despite all these tools, only 27% of sales team reached their target in 2023. So how can we solve this? The solution is Chrono, the only one sales automation platform powered by AI that allows sales team to reach their outbound sales target. And it does so because it gives them more than 50% of their time back thanks to task and process automation. It's only one platform, but it's natively integrated with dozens of tools to create a smooth process, still leveraging the power of several solutions. And thanks to the verified data enrichment and the high personalization case, it increased conversion rate by more than 30%. Chrono's innovation is based on three pillars, data and native integrations to create a smooth process, centralizing all efforts into one interface, proprietary AI model built on top of OpenAI to um, replicate and mirror the work of experience as they are in all situations, and flows automation to automate processes and save time. Looking at the market, the potential is huge and growing. The sales software industry will reach $129 billion by 2028, growing at a 10% uh, rate annual growth rate. The market is competitive with both legacy solutions such as Salesloft, Artrich, Apollo, but also new players like Zelic, Artisan 11X. But as you can see, um, if you look, there is a trade-off between being able to automate tasks and being able to support sales team with quality the outbound. So Chrono is betting on the people, and we are uh, offering a solution to support sales team with quality the outbound. We're driving the transition of sales role from operators to orchestrators, automating their daily operation, but still giving them full observability and control over the process. Since we launched our platform in Q4 last year, we've been on the right trajectory. We dedicated this year to identifying the right ICP, and we're now growing into mid-market companies. We have a, a good traction with scaling up to more than 200K of RRR, growing five times since 2023, and we have a very strong platform adoption and stickiness. Our go-to-market strategy is very simple. We are a SaaS solution with three different pricing tiers. Sorry, we are four co-founders. Three of us are coming from B2B sales. Uh, we have more than 30 years of combined experience working the go-to-market teams of big corporates like Microsoft, Salesforce, Viva Systems, but also startups like Social Plus and team leaders. The other founder is a technical engineer with over 10 years of experience designing solutions involving data, AI, and integrations. We just opened a three million seed round we already closed an anticipation of 650K with uh, a safe deal with the participation of scouts from Axel and Sequoia Capital. So this being said, are you ready for the future of sales? Thank you so much. All right, thanks Emilia and Marco. Thank you. Let's begin with the questions. Hey, Marco. Thank you so much for the awesome pitch. Um, Thank you. If we think about the competition to all the Neo players that you rightly listed, 11X, Rox, who just announced their round by Sequoia today, what is the biggest risk dimension, if you think about the company, that has to go right for you to become the billion-dollar company and stand out and beat all the other competitors that you just listed there? Yes. So the way that we see the market is that, um, as you said, there are a lot of new competitors that are using technology and automations to really automate the whole process. And their bet is that they will replace sales team, right? Uh, our bet is that sales team is not replaceable just because we've been sales ourselves. So, and we know that it's not just about sending out an email, but there is need to be a, a face behind, basically be behind the wheel, as in a car. Um, so our bet is that their solution eventually will, will prove that it only works with, basically with SMB companies or very small companies that they don't have any market trust. But uh, our bet is that because of regulations, especially in Europe, because of market trust, so that you have to, to have someone being, um, say, having responsibility over who they are targeting, why, what they're writing, the message, etc. Uh, we are betting that the people will always be there. So the bigger risk for us is that. 
Marco, many thanks for the great pitch. Um, Thank you. A question regarding the integration process at your customer base. Can you walk us through that, like how an onboarding process typically looks like and how much integration efforts you have with these customers? Because as far as I understand, you're not replacing existing software, you're building on top and create a better interface, right? We actually have our own platforms um, that can integrate with different solutions. So we're not trying to replace all the sales stack of different companies. So we integrate natively with, with CRMs, uh, with email providers, uh, with, with LinkedIn, with uh, um, calling systems. Uh, so throughout the whole process, there are a lot of vertical solutions. So we try to give them one interface to manage the whole process, but the part that we're mainly, um, mainly building ourselves is the whole engagement part of automations. But as companies are using already some set stack, they can integrate the, the different solution that they have on the vertical part. So CRMs, uh, uh, data providers, uh, uh, calling systems, or anything up to closing deals. What's, what's your hedge against others in this market? Like, What's the unique thing to protect or to, to build on? So what, what we're denying is that we've been spending uh, more than two years in building this solution. So. Um, it looks like something it's, it's widely available, but it's, it takes a lot of time to create this native integration and having data flawless, flawlessly um, streamed throughout the platform. Uh, and also having our own AI model will allow us to use the data from our own customer to train the model and make sure that it can mirror the work of experiences they are. So I, I think the, the most like, um, let's say, differentiation, but also defendability point that we have is the effort that it takes to, to build a platform like this. And we are the only one with this direction now of having something that is similar and an AI, an AI SDR in terms of how it, it, it automates the process, but is meant to work with people and, and not just replacing them. Real quickly. Uh, quickly, what do you use AI for? What specific use cases? So we use AI in two ways. So of course, generative AI to, to really um, personalize at scale all messages and all interactions, being able to suggest replies, being able to basically define messages and stuff, so generative AI in that sense. But we're also using AI to um, use our own data to understand what sequences is performing best. And as we, as we are creating sequences for our users, we use that data to, to create sequences that, that we know will perform better. All right. Thanks a lot, Marco. Thank you, guys. Thanks.